Don't be kissing my camera. Get your own camera to kiss. <laughs> Welcome, people. Today is a art day. This is a bunch of art that little mama refused to let go. And I don't mind because you got to give her what she wants because she's a pretty cool woman. When you say that at the end of the day. But anyway, today we are going to show you what it is. We got a very special piece that I have been saving for a while for someone special. But anyway, let's get into it. Nothing? Bye. <laughs> So happy you're here. So excited you're here. This is it. This is the art. This is what we've been saving. And this is what's going up to auction on Friday, which is tomorrow. So tune in. Don't miss out. Hope you didn't catch this video late because then you're going to miss the auction. But anyways, let's start off with this. This is a very important piece. This piece right here. It's a very beautiful piece. A very beautiful piece. Like, look at that. Can you see that? If you if fail. Turn this way. Come here. Come behind me. Come to the light. You got to see it from the light. Oh, okay. Sorry. Which way do you want me to come? Right there. You see that? Look how beautiful it is. Signed everything. It's a painting. It's an actual painting on canvas. And what makes this painting so special? Take a look at that on the back. You see that? High Desert State Prison. Why is it so special to me? Because my brother sent me this. Yes, my brother is incarcerated. Yes, my brother is trying to make something happen from where he's at, negative place. He always tries to make a positive. I love my brother dearly. And he sent me the painting. I said, what better time to get rid of the painting than on the auction? So this painting, every last dollar is going towards my brother, to my brother, because I know my brother is the type just like me to get up and do it yourself and has a hard time asking people for stuff. So you know what? Everything that is made from this painting that I sell Tomorrow is going straight to my brother. And yes, prison art is expensive. Look it up on eBay, people. Prison art is expensive. And to get a piece like this with the actual high desert stamp on the back. I want to see like the material. It's a, it's, like a, it's, a uh, material. it's like the cloth canvas. Yeah. Which is very nice. Very nice. I think he paints better than most people that are on the streets. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it helps my brother out a little bit in his situation. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully one day my brother is free to walk these streets with us and maybe work with Stalker. But for now, it's a bad situation. And all we can do is hope for the best. And all we can maybe, do is make good out maybe of it. one day he is free. Anyway, he is a nice, handsome man. And yes, he is single. And yes, if I'm just playing. But let DM me. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start over here, baby. Love you, Fern. All right, here we go. These are a couple of the paintings that we are going tomorrow, that we are doing tomorrow. One is this right here. I, Liz, you are very good at the names. I am not. Valerie McCardell. It's a water painting, correct? Um, I, it might be a print. I, I gotta check with Mama G. And then finding this in the unit. This is not a painting. It is a, what is it called, lithograph? Yes. Lithograph, but, but it, it is, is signed. Sign. And I guess that is a very famous one. I found this a while back. And a lot of people told me, hey, that is worth money. And lo and behold, it is worth money. Yeah. This right here is another lithograph, little photo of a famous... Carnival Evening 1886. A famous painting, but it's just a lithograph. But hey, it's still good. Still, still good. Great replica. Then back here, we have a... It's a vintage. Vintage uh, what? Lithograph as well. A lithograph of Thomas Kincaid painting, correct? Prince of Peace. Yep. This right here is... This one is actually vintage because it's 1998. The one that's circulating is from 2006. Which means that this is way more valuable. Way more valuable. Then we have these right here. These right here, I told little mom, I said, should we do them? Should we save them or what? They are somebody's personal photography that they took. So it's amateur photography. Amateur photography. But look at these yeah, pictures. they're pretty nice. They are they're extremely nice. nice. Look at that. Beautiful. But not, then on top of all that, oh, that's nice. Look at the back. 
hopefully they blow up one day and you can see them. Fan ahead. Art. 160 82 spring, 86. spring of 86 so these are vintage photos too right mm -hmm. all right now let's start working our way around what is this mama sorry i'm i didn't research as much as you did it's a h hargrove h what uh h hargrove okay is this an actual painting you know i didn't get that out of the research i did it, it did looks? state that because it has this and it's uh Oil painting. It's a, it's actual. It says. Uh, it says that? certificate of authenticity. Yeah, and so. you know what? That's why we are showing you guys this stuff because we want you guys to be the judge of it. What we are going to do is just put it up on the auction block. Correct, babe? Auction block it goes. And then this right here found a while back. I think me and Pirate had a unit and this came out of it. This is a very nice. I don't think it's no one famous. None of that. But it is just a very nice picture of pirate ship. There is a name on it, though, on the bottom. Who is that? I can't even pronounce it if I try. I'm going to try. A Peruzzi. Perazazi. Yeah, something like that. And I don't know if we're going to do this one because I couldn't really find nothing and on I, that's her. That's super old. Super old. Super nice. And look at the back. Anyone knows? Please let us know. What does know. that say? Something Harkins. Hmm. I've never seen that. That says 9,000 or 900. 900. 9,000. That's 1,000. Yeah. What if that's $9,000, baby? I don't know. I don't know either. Hopefully someone on this channel will know what it is and they will give us the heads up. All right. Now we're off to... So the bigger pictures, we're going to wait till last because obviously it's going to be very hard to ship that very glass. Very hard to ship. These right here, I didn't do no research on these. Little Mama did. And she found out that these two paintings are... Dun, 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 you ready for it? You ready for it? Are... Wait, wrong one. Oh, no, right one. Are worth <laughs> $205 because there is a tag on the back. 205 bucks. So... That's the furthest we got on these paintings. Yeah, I didn't they're find any names. Around two to three hundred dollars each, but you never know how old they are and how long they're they've really been sitting pretty. in our garage. They are signed. Show the signature for someone if they want to see it. It might be a local artist or something like that. They're really pretty. You never know. They are extremely pretty. Then we have here. See, see, we have. Let me show this real quick, Mama. We have things laying around like this. These are not actual paintings. These right here are replicas. Uh, rep, not rep. They're like yeah, replicas, prints, or whatever. But they are still worth money. Why? Because they are copies of some very expensive paintings. Yeah. But I don't believe they are paintings. They're not. They are still nice, and they still hopefully will sell. Then we have this right here. What did you find out on this one? Well, I don't exactly know. I've seen a George Barker painting, and they're going for pretty pretty penny. But I don't know if that's actually George Barker or just a G. Barker, so I'm not too sure about that. I have to do a it's little a bit. It's a real painting. A little bit more research before Friday, or hopefully our subscribers can tell us. G. Barker. G. Barker, yeah. Hopefully that is who it is, and that is worth money, right? And then what are these? One, are the, one of the things that we have figured out and we did good research on are those right are what are those paintings that you have now sorry being a light a little closer those are really nice those are extremely nice oh all right sorry and here we go all right one thing that we did do a little research on were these actual pieces montanalo montanalo there is montanalo one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces they are all signed, as you can see right here. See that? Wait, wait, where are you at? Right there. Right there. They are all signed. They all have, I don't know, I'm not sure what this is on the back right here. And then they all have these on the back. Evening cactus. They all have the names on them of what they are, when they painted them, and all that good stuff. There goes another one. You see the back? Mm hmm very nice paintings all of them have that the big one has it these are valuable paintings people so look them up show them the game one more time possibly lot out or possibly lot out or piece do by, 
piece by piece, correct. Montanala 80. That right. is M290. But that is a good piece right there. Those pieces right there are money, people. And it's time for them to go. They've been sitting in the garage for a while. And this right here, I found sitting on my, well, in my garage, hanging. And I said, let me see what this is. I thought, oh, it's just a little cheap Walmart photo. But look at the back. Dante Decador. De it's probably a local artist that just painted it, but he has a price of 120 bucks on it. Yeah. So you know what? I mean, there's worth something, and who don't like? Tupac? I mean, but it's a good piece. It's a very nice piece. Yeah, it's a really good piece. Then we have a photograph of Joe Montana, the Niners playing the Raiders. Yeah, I'm thinking it was just a regular photo, and then boom, I think the photographer signed it. So La that, Blanco 88. La Blanco 88. That is a very nice piece right there. Then we have this. Babe, what did you learn about this? Um, Gordiano, he has a gallery, I think, um, down south somewhere. Gordiano, sure. that's a nice painting. Um, I will be actually contacting them today to see what, you know, some more research on this one. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful piece. Then we have these right here. We these, learn about these. <clears throat> I learned about these that these are actually, sorry, here, you wanna grab the camera? Go ahead. Okay. These are Garden of Royal Swallowtail. Swallowtail. But, see that? July 22nd, 1983. This is a real, real, real nice piece. I believe some of this is silver in is here. Is that metal etching? Yes, Let me see. but that's what it says. Etching. Well, it doesn't say metal etching. It just says etching. These are very pricey. Very pricey. If you plan on coming to the auction and buying, look these up first. I encourage you to look these up first because these two pieces are pricey. Uh, but also be aware that they're old. And they're 1983. Yeah, they're old. They're old. Okay. And then these, these are just some random pieces. Oh, wait. Let's double back and show the table. Sorry guys, all over the place. So what do you got over here, Big Daddy? Over here we have some. Ooh, is that Disney? Oh wait, that's my letter from my brother that he sent it in. Let's not show that. We might have a bunch of people writing him. <laughs> and then we have right here. Hint, hint. Hint, hint, <laughs> if you want. He's a very handsome man, very intelligent, multiple degrees. But anyways, these are some Disney um, magical time in a magical place. Yes, they're magical time. Magical place. They're limited release, 2005. They're like just posters, but we have these with them. And then this right here is a... Oh, ba -da -da. Would that be 2000 like lithograph collection. But you go to Disney and all that, and you end up paying 50, 60 bucks for one poster. We're going to lot them up, do all three at once. Okay, that's a good idea. All three of them at once. Oh, look, it's a cougar. It's a cougar. What is this one? What's that? That is, that's actually a, not even a painting. That's a... Um, a tour magazine? Yeah, a tour magazine of whoever. Betty Mittler? Yeah, whoever. I'm going to say that. People right, are yeah, don't say that. Though. You're going to get chewed out. All right, and then on the table, we have just a bunch of vintage posters. Cougars, um... I think this is vintage. This is vintage. These are all like 80 posters. I believe, I'm not sure of this one, but I it think it's It says Picasso old. 1980. Let's yeah, look that, at the that back. Don't, that is not the, uh, the thing, it don't say nothing else. Okay. But uh, that's like an, a picture of another picture, but that might be pricey. I don't know, not sure. But this is a vintage poster, Parks of Canada. That's a vintage poster. Then we have a very old poster, which is... Kite Festival? Kite Festival, yeah. You're then, once California. again, we have a very... No, I'm just playing. <laughs> and then we have this over here. These are just pictures that were laying around. I have no idea about... I don't feel like looking them up no more, but I did sell a painting or a lithograph like this a while back for around 800 bucks. Uh -huh. But it was a Statue of Liberty. But look at the back. That's what gets me interested. See that? I'm not quite sure. But it's it's something special. Something, Something special. special. Then we have this. This has actually got the autograph on it. I don't know if we're going to get this far in the auction tomorrow, but we're going to try. But you see the name 
autographed on the bottom? Baronet Honeywood, 1983. Jesus loves me. But I don't think that's a painting. I think that's a, a print. Then, just glance at the rest of it we have. These are all bigger items, but I'm not sure if we're going to get to these. It all depends on Friday and how Friday goes. That one's very interesting. They all are very interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. But look, people. Hope you guys are here. Hope you guys do your research. Hope you guys look up a couple of things that we have. Hope you guys tune in. And, yeah. Thanks, guys. Peace out.